We've all got a favorite genre, something that itches that scratch we all share thematically. A game to that genre, and a reason for that reason to highlight it as our favorite. Be it Warhammer's strategy, the lore in that strategy, the first-person shooters and their simplicity, or even first-person shooters and their intricacy. Adventure games and their story or gameplay, or even off-genre one-hits that get you just right. Kidney now! You have forfeited your right! Bam! 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 Uh... Bam! Bam! Thank you for your generous donation. Fuck! The off-genre is something that hits me closer than other things. Mayhaps it's a toyma in my brain. This is where I cut that girl. What may strike you as amazing will certainly mean nothing or next to nothing to another. Even then, you both may love something, but it won't be the other's favorite. For example, I'd go as far to say that Dead Rising 2 is one of my favorite of all time PS3 games. But my love for Dead Rising 2 might be undercut by someone else's love for Dead Rising 1. It doesn't influence my love for 2. But if I try to explain my love of 2 to someone who loves 1, it might be a waste of time. It doesn't mean either games change in our eyes, it means there's reasons that influence each other's choices. So what's my favorite genre? Well, what would someone describe me as? Rash. You should, uh, really shoot this woman. Okay. Outlandish. <laughs> yeah! Loud in spirit. I am Fire Lord Zuko. That's terrible. Eccentric. <laughs> Whatever. I'm a complicated boomer that seeks simple games that lead to larger outcomes. I greatly dislike strategy or RTS games, ironically. I also, for some fucking reason, dislike games that take me away from the action. Games that consider the bird's eye view a real camera angle. Which it isn't. Fuck you. What is wrong with you? Do you actually think this? Thanks. It's more interesting than this. I'm telling you, Garrett's men were dropping like flies, but they just kept on I don't want to feel like I'm commanding somebody to do something. I want to do something. I'm a boots on the ground grunt that enjoys doing my own work and seeing results from it. I like to be intimate with the damage I'm causing, to be the one who feels the consequences or the fruits of my labor. Yet there's something about Rudy Tooty Point and Shooty and Parkour Asian Sim that just doesn't tickle my fancy, yet they fill all the criteria that I'm describing. There's one genre that does fit what I love, and it fits it well. Survival. Yeah, I said it, Big Whoop, wanna kiss and hug about it, maybe talk about your day? Survival games have this negativity about them in certain groups, that negativity is lost on me, as I genuinely adore games that are survival related. Games that put you at the bottom of the food chain. No, not fucking survival like Killing Floor 2's dumb game mode, and not survival like how some people describe Amnesia or Monstrum. Survival. You are trying to survive, like you do every day. But take away the comforts of society and the simplicity that technology gives you, and drop your ass at the bottom of the food pyramid. Next to the bread. Like the fat fuck. There's something intriguing about the utter feeling of soul dependency. Ask yourself, what would you do if you were left in a forest, or the frozen tundra, or Detroit, like, oh my god. What exactly makes something a survival game? It's quite simple. It's two things. And that's it. And some people fuck it up. Surviving? I'm gonna have to leave something behind. <sighs> and self-preservation. Surviving as if you were controlling a real person. Real people need food, nourishment, water, safety, sleep, shelter. Self-preservation is the player's number one goal. 
Of course, a story can hold the main objective, but it is not the player's main goal. The reason I brought up similar interests and genres is because the survival genre, shockingly enough, is the same fucking thing copy-pasted over and over again, but with slight execution difference. The Long Dark is just the forest, but replace the cannibals with wolves. Stranded Deep is just replacing the forest's cannibals with sharks. And Subnautica is just Stranded Deep, but replaced with- I bring up that they're the exact same game because they are, and they're all wonderful. So why do people rate them differently? But, 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 but Jay, those games only have a few things in common. They're so different. Fair enough, I'll give you that. But do me a favor and tell me what Saints Row and GTA don't have in common. Regardless, my point isn't in the presentation, it's the execution. They are intrinsically the same game, but in different parts of the world with different stories. But we ain't talking about the story, because the story is not the most important part of a survival game! Surviving Ace! John Carmack said some stupid quote that can really only be applied to specific games, but survival is definitely one of them. You want me to describe every single survival game story in a couple words? I'll do it. Cold! My son! My wife! Sharks! Space sharks! And cancer! Small? Where the fuck am I? Wraith! Creeper! Oh, I, I, I don't have a fuck. The reason I'm pointing this out is because the survival genre is considered oversaturated in an attempt to cash in on the Minecraft fix. Which, you know, I can't vouch for. But after seeing all these games get a bad rap, it's a giant kick in the dick since some of these games are actually fantastic and don't deserve to be considered cash grabs. But the main point of my video is, why is the survival genre my favorite of all time? I don't have a damn clue other than they're fucking comfy!